here with Zia TV and we are in the heart of Hollywood at the Harmony Gold Theater celebrating IFLA's 20th anniversary. IFLA celebrated their 20th anniversary with familiar faces, overwhelming excitement and new additions to Southern California's largest Indian and South Asian focused film festival. Pan Nalan is back to open the festival with his film, Last Film Show, a love letter to cinema and loosely based on his childhood. I think IFLA over the years, it has been like a home in Hollywood. <laughs> So I was always able to come here, you know, and invite people from the industry to see these movies. Uh, there are producers who usually don't go to see Indian cinema. So I feel, you know, that's really important. Anurag Keshap returns, not with a film, but to host a masterclass, a way to give back to the festival and fellow filmmakers. Always good to be back here because for me, this is where it all started from. And it's amazing to see the festival has grown so much. New filmmakers feel honored to be part of the lineup this year, especially after no in-person IFLA for the last two years. It feels a little unreal. <laughs> it feels great. I think especially to be at a festival in person after over two years. The community is amazing. The, the welcome is very warm. Uh, it feels uh, just so uh, honoring to uh, be a part of this festival and uh, amongst these filmmakers. I can't wait to see all the other films. What makes IFLA so special that filmmakers, attendees, and staff keep coming back years later? It's a family. I am just um, so grateful for this festival, and it's been such a supporter of me. And they've helped bring the South Asian diasporatic community here in LA together as well. Thank God they've lasted 20 years. Well, what's wonderful about IFLA is it's super niche. It's South Asians in LA, of all places. Um, it's small enough so you actually see people. I think they've always been eclectic with their mix of uh, selection that they bring around here. Smaller budget, smaller uh, sort of productions also need a shout out. One of the new additions this year is the Spotlight on South Asia. Presenting films uh, from you know different countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal. We're putting a spotlight on projects that we want to support. The other major change this year, instead of a closing night film, it is a live table read of IFLA alum Khalil Muscati's feature script, Aleem Uncle. This is truly a, a work in progress live reading starring an incredible cast. These changes reflect IFLA's commitment to supporting filmmakers while giving audiences more than a viewing experience. They're able to be part of the filmmaking process. So what's next for IFLA? I think it's going to look like a little bit like this. Um, so definitely a showcase of new films, but more mentorship for filmmakers. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations, Ifla, on 20 years, and here's looking to many more. I'm Carrie Lane with Dia TV.